Hello everyone, this is Matt with Hand Painted Studio. Thank you for joining me again. Before we get started, a uh, big shout out to mothers. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. And Happy Mother's Day to my mom for always supporting me and doing everything that uh, I do. Um, so thank you. All right, getting into this tutorial. As promised, CC Libraries in um, InDesign. Stop whatever you guys are doing. If you guys aren't using this right now, you need to implement it <laughs> right away. Um, Adobe CC Libraries. Go to Window, CC Libraries, fifth one down. Add it to your guys' layout. Um, create a custom layout for your Adobe CC Libraries. It doesn't matter however you do it. Utilize that panel. It's going to save you an immense amount of time. Um, and it's going to keep all your stuff looking consistent. Um, and keeping the branding across whatever your things that you're doing consistent, which means your clients are gonna be happier and you're gonna be happier, and you're gonna be faster, and you're gonna be more efficient. Um, so <clears throat> I can't think of something else that has not, I mean, these, these libraries have helped me out so much. I'm gonna delete these things and start anew. So I've created this asset that I would like to be able to use on multiple different um, upcoming projects per se. Um, so it's, it's pretty common. And I accidentally hit save. I don't want to save this right now. Um, so let's W to preview this thing. And it's just a, it's a quick letterhead. Um, Happy Mother's Day. And we want to take this asset and we, we want to keep it somehow. And I don't want to duplicate it over and over and over. And I'm sure you guys have been there before. You don't want to have to keep stuff. Um, and the way that CC Libraries works is that you just go ahead and you create a new library. Create a new library. You name it whatever you want. If you'd like to share it with other colleagues or other people that are working on similar projects, you view on the web, you go to the file, and you share it. And then people are collaborating. Um, I have an example right here. Um, and it, you get this little two-headed icon where it says shared library. Um, that means other people are using that library as well. Um, and it's available for them to use. Let's dive right into this. So here I have uh, a table that's set up with some special styling, um, lettering, co content, copy, whatever. Um, and if you double click on the, the font, yes, you can save the font, style, paragraph, and color. But I don't really need to do that. I can just grab the whole asset and add it as a graphic. And then that graphic asset, I can pull into any other layout at any time I want, anywhere in the world, and be a very happy designer. Um, I like to create assets like this all the time, or if I'm getting work from a client and they need stuff that's duplicated over into a new file, um, I'll open up the old file, I'll ask them, hey, do you have any old files? Um, make my time go faster working on your project and I grab all these assets and I put them in and I reorganize it into whatever new brochure or pamphlet or whatever they're doing um, and it makes it just so much faster uh, so that's one way you can go over here you can click your 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 graphic asset and add it in as a graphic or you can just drag and drop it drag and drop it <laughs> and then um, if you'd like to just save out colors, you can do the same thing here. Select the color that you like from whatever asset that you're using. Um, and you can add the fill color. You can select text, say if you like that color, um, you can copy that color over. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so that's, that's using Adobe CC libraries within the design. It will speed up your guys' workflow, whatever you're doing, stop if you're not using it and go and use it. Um, play around with it. I know that everyone uses uh, repeated graphic assets um, across the board. Um, so what I would do is if you're working with a client and you know that you're going to be doing consistent work, go and build a library for that and it will save you a ton of time. Um, that is it for today and I will see you guys on the next tutorial where we'll be explaining how to set up guides in Photoshop. If you guys like what you see here and you want to see more, please leave me a comment. Um, like
like the video, pass it along, share it in your other social media channels. Let me know if there's something I'm missing or if you guys like to see something specific, let me know uh, and we will create something. Thank you so much for your guys' time. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye everyone.